This is a subject with a highly worn dentition chewing gum on the right side. We have a XY view and the, the pink is the closing movement and the green is the opening movement in the frontal plane. If we look at the sweep view and zoom we can see the segmented XY view shows a great deal of variation from cycle to cycle so we do not have consistency in the pattern of chewing. If we average these cycles together we get a somewhat strange looking uh, average chewing pattern where the it's very square looking particularly in the area of occlusion and, and to some extent that's due to the fact that there's so much variability uh, in that area. If we open a chewing motion view in this case we can see that the movement is quite uh, unusual in that the movement is actually uh, shows very little cuspal guidance in any direction not in the not in the lateral direction and not in a protrusive direction. Let's try that once more. If we just if we redraw that, notice that the opening path sometimes goes to the right, sometimes goes to the left, but there's very little in the way and that's because the occlusion is so flat. Notice the closing uh, path comes into occlusion here and then there's a great deal of protrusive movement occurring in an upward and forward direction actually so there's there is uh, not a uh, any incisal uh, protrusive guidance either 